hi folks uh, welcome so today we will be looking at two pointers so this video consists like uh, the basics of two pointers so we will be looking at what two pointer actually is and where it can be used how it can help us solve some problem and two pointer is quite an important thinking for a lot of uh, for some of the interview questions so generally the array questions and yeah so let's start straight up so let's start with the important question what actually is two pointers so two pointer is a technique that is used to find pair in a sorted array so so two pointer is uh, used to find pair uh, in a sorted array so main purpose of the two pointer uh, technique is uh, this and then there is there are some other use cases uh, we can use two pointer to solve some other questions where uh, the array is not generally sorted so still we can apply a uh, two pointer technique uh, generally what i find is that uh, where the array is not sorted getting to this two pointer thinking is generally a bit hard uh, because for that you have to practice uh, some questions before so you should have some experience like during the practice so as you solve some questions uh, where the array is not sorted uh, you start getting familiar like where we can use the two pointer so generally there are like questions where you have to find max area so you are given like uh, two walls or something and you have to find area between that uh, there we can use two pointer uh, by keeping two pointer we can remove the overhead so what is the actual benefit of two pointer uh, generally what we do is when we have to find a pair uh, let's say we have to find a pair of two elements where the sum is equal to some amount some target right so what we do is uh, for each element we are traversing uh, all the other elements remaining elements so what it does is increases the time complexity to like n square so if we are given the array is sorted uh, then that becomes quite an easy problem to solve then since now we know that the smallest element resides on the left hand side and the largest on the right hand side doing that uh, what we can do is we can start with uh, two pointers right there and then we can either decrease or increase based on the value of the sum so there two pointer can be quite helpful so i have mentioned like this problem uh, to some problem which can be used to solve so there is like uh pair based solution so this is like two sum uh, let's say we have to find a uh, three sum or uh, four sum so there are like other uh, variations of this question so in that case also we can follow the same idea of two pointers so it doesn't have to be just two pointers you can have like uh, three pointers in uh, the three sum problem you can keep two pointers that are moving and one is like fixed pointer so that we will talk in upcoming videos when we will be solving the questions so right uh, so two pointer is just uh, the name uh, the pointer can be more than two if we want if that is our requirement right and yeah the benefit as i said like we can reduce the time complexity from order n square where we were traversing the array like for one element we were traversing the whole uh, whole array again and again we can reduce that to order n or if the array is not sorted we can sort it order n log n and then use two pointer on that so it is quite an important uh, optimization technique right so when to use two pointers so now the question comes how are we going to identify so as i talked uh, a lot of this comes with practice so there are some things you can keep it in mind so let's start with that so when the array is sorted and we have to find pair so this is like the simple case for two pointer so most of the easy questions will be around this concept that the array will be sorted and you have to find a pair of some sort so in that case it uh, becomes quite simple to identify that we have to apply two pointer right and then there are other type of questions where the array is not sorted so in that case it is a bit difficult uh, you need some practice there so since uh, there are a few uh, places where we can use it so one is fast and slow pointer so which is used in linked list generally so one of the example i can give is finding a cycle in a linked list so in that case we use fast and slow pointer or if we want to find the middle element then also we use 
fast or slow pointer so fast or slow pointer is also like you keep two pointers uh, you move one pointer slowly like one element at a time and the fast pointer will move twice or uh, that depends upon the requirement of the question uh now there are some other type of questions where we have to find like some area or let's say there are two pillars and we have to find how much water will be between those pillars we have some buildings how much water will be collected uh, in between of the buildings so in the uh, those questions as well uh, two pointers become quite useful so yes so these are the main reason uh, regions where i can think the two pointers is generally used right so i'll give you a generic format of two pointers uh, so most of the questions um, will follow uh, most of the solutions will follow this format so first we will have a left pointer which is generally at the start of the array and then we will have a right pointer which is generally at the end of the array or it can be like starting will be from zero and the ending uh, right pointer will be from one uh, that depends upon the question right so and there is one result variable so uh, there are some questions where you will require the result like finding the area or finding let's say you have to find uh, you are given to uh, an array and you have to find two elements whose sum is closest to some target so in that case also you might need a result so there are various cases uh, now so this is uh, how we will start uh, iterating through the array so we are going to use a while uh, condition so while the left pointer is less than the right pointer so uh, till this condition follows we will keep a current so the current uh, the way we will calculate current is from the left and right pointer index and so let's take the example of two sum problem so in two sum problem if uh, left pointer is zero and then right, uh, right pointer is pointing to the last element in the array we have to find the current so the in that case current will be the sum of both uh, both the elements so current will be arr of left pointer and arr of right pointer sum of that right so there will be some computation uh, where you will find a value the current value using left and right pointer index of array okay so optional uh, now this part is optional so this optional part will be used in that uh, case where the array is not sorted where we have to find a max area or the some other parameter like water storing in between of the buildings something like that uh, so in that cases uh, we need to do some updation to the max area so the current here in this case will be current area or using the left and the right pointer and we will update the max area to be the maximum of either max area or the current area right so this is the optional part and then at the end so now we want to move the left and the right pointer uh, the reason why we are moving the left and the right pointer is we want to hit the exit condition where uh, eventually the right pointer will uh, go to the left hand side and left pointer will come to the right hand side so we want to move towards the solution so we want to decrease the space of the search right so that's uh, where we are updating the left or the right pointer based on some scenario like uh, generally we use the current value to update the left and the right pointer like into some problem if the sum of uh, area of left pointer and right pointer is greater than the target so we will reduce the right pointer because uh, that is where the maximum uh, bigger value is so if we decrease the bigger value the sum next time will become smaller so that is how we are doing updation and so yeah so this was all about uh, on the two pointer and so i uh, these are some of the problems uh, and it is taken from this website read code pattern and i'm thinking of making video regarding a separate video regarding all these questions so uh, if you have some other question which are of two pointer and uh, you want me to solve them you can provide the link to those questions uh, if possible do provide the lead code uh, link for those questions and i'll try to solve them in the upcoming videos so i hope uh, this uh, two pointer series will help you 
understand this technique so if you are interested in this series and some upcoming other topics uh, so you can subscribe to the channel and thank you